What's up everyone, this is Adesh. I hope you guys are doing good. Before the start of this video, I would like to ask you guys, please do like, share and subscribe my channel if you like the content because that will help me a lot. And if you guys want me to improve uh, on anything, either editing or game, and if you have any new ideas, please do mention that in the comment section below and I will try my best to improve. And without wasting any other any of your time, so let's get back to the video.
that's quite some achievement for Alfa Romeo's Kasper Ackermann, getting the fastest lap out. Yeah, it's not often that you see any team outside of the top three pick up that extra point. Alfa Romeo went with what looked like an aggressive tyre strategy, but it paid off for them. Incredible, really. Alfa Romeo now very much in the mix for a strong midfield finish this season. And who knows, they might even be eyeing up fourth place. They'll be delighted. to say nice work on that fastest lap that's a welcome point wouldn't you say yeah the team did well well you drove the thing Cass congratulations thanks look there are rumors you'll try and wriggle out of the team dinner tomorrow put my mind at rest would you I'm coming to the team dinner Brian beautiful place we booked reason to celebrate you're gonna love it is Zoe still coming yeah she wouldn't miss it Terrific! Wonderful! Are you excited, Cass? Tell me you're excited. I'm certainly attending. Small victories, I suppose. We'll see you there. Thanks, Brian. I'd like to congratulate you all on a superb performance so far. Uh, there's still a lot of work to do, but uh, give yourselves a round of applause. You've been wonderful. Well, I'm sure you've all heard by now, but, uh, well, this will be Casper's last season as an F1 driver. And if you get the chance, then please do your very best to change his mind. <laughs> I'm only kidding, Casper. Uh, you will be missed. Anyway, I'll stop talking for once. <laughs> Have a wonderful evening, and let's push for four. Look, I know how this works. I've been around long enough. I'm just saying, you have a future here. I've seen a lot of drivers come and go in my time. But you're special, Amy. You've got the makings of a true great. I mean it. Casper! Hey, where's Zoe? Oh, she's around somewhere. She loves these things. Oh, and you don't. Mind if we join you? I'll be my guest. Come on, Aiden. Sit. I like this. Why didn't it work out between you two? Brian, I'd rather not discuss... I don't care what you'd rather, Aiden. Casper's leaving us, and I know that your agent's been talking to other teams. This could be the last chance the three of us get to chat like this. Who knows? We may not even see each other again after Abu Dhabi. So come on. What's the deal? Listen, I just want to have a nice evening. He's on more money than me. What? Ah, hence the frosty reception. Everybody started talking about my age. Just wanted to prove myself. Prove that I was better than the next flavor of the month. This was not about you, Aiden. I just, I don't know. What about you? He didn't want me on the team. Didn't I? You wanted Ricardo instead. And you thought I was past my best. What? But that's not true. You're having an amazing season. Could you verify that number for me? That's right. And that's the contracted amount, yes? Yeah. Do you mind if we show him?
Uh-oh. You two are a couple of chumps, do you know that? And you should know better. I don't understand. No, but he does. It would be funny if he wasn't so tragic. I wonder how many points all this has cost us. Well, I'll leave you to it. You can apologize to me later. I don't understand. I'm an idiot. Why? Paddock got it. So none of this is true? There's always gossip in the paddock. And ever since he's arrived, there's been one man at the center of it all. Who? The man who told me pre-season last year that you signed a better deal. The man who said you thought that I was too old. And that would be the same man who told you I didn't want you signed. Butler? And I believed him. How could I be so stupid? You're not stupid, Casper. I didn't think he had this in him. Why would he bother? Look at all the mess he's caused. The crash last year, the fight in Kenneth. And how much easier has he had it because of all of that? What can we do? Beat him. Hey. Hey. How are you finding it out there today? <sighs> Tough. We're overheating the tires a little through the S's. Yeah, happens. Do you mind if I join you for a moment? Please. They want us to push for fourth. You think Alpha Tauri are catchable? Maybe. Butler's having a good season. He claims he has been approached by Ferrari. I heard. He is the more experienced driver. I think the seat goes to him. You said it had always been your dream to drive for them. Is that true? Yeah. It is. Okay, I'm going to give you space out there. I'm sorry I didn't do that before. I'm sorry too. I want us to push for four. I want us to beat Butler. And I want that seat to go to you. Thanks, Casper. I don't know how we make that happen, but thanks. Well, we work together, help each other out. That's all we can do. Then let's do that. Uh, we've adjusted the camber. Seems to help manage the tire temperatures a bit better. Yeah? I'll get them to share my setup data with you. Just see how it feels. Thank you, Casper. Truce. Truce. Casper, hey, have you got a moment? Yeah, of course. That camber adjustment really helped. I guess I just wanted to thank you. Not a problem. Those tires in a better range now? Much more manageable. Thanks. Well, those milliseconds all add up. Brian says we can catch Alpha Tori. <laughs> Brian says a lot of things. Just focus on the next race. Thanks, Casper. I'll see you trackside.
teammate ahead is 27.1 seconds. of fuel remaining.
tanks of fuel remaining. Lots of fuel remaining.
another action-packed Japanese Grand Prix comes to an end. And what a magnificent drive to take the win here today. Alfa Romeo continue to put the pressure on Alfa Tauri. That gap might still be a little too big to close, but for Alfa Romeo, it's very much game on. Yeah, and I think back even just a couple of months, Crofty, I didn't have Alfa Romeo pegged to be competing with Alfa Tauri. Both Jackson and Ackerman performing at their absolute best out there today. Well, they certainly were, and no sign of any disputes on or off track between the pair of them. Might they have put their differences behind them? The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to everyone at the team. Good day today. Let's have your take on it. Solid performance out there today, Casper. You must be pleased. Yeah, the competition feels like it's fiercer than ever this season. And the team is working really hard to keep up, so we're grateful for every point we earn. Those points bring you a little bit closer to Alpha Tauri. Is that something you're particularly focused on during... Absolutely. We're into the business end of the season now, and we want to climb as many places as we can. Right now, that means catching Alpha Tauri. So, any time we can put the pressure on a little, that's good for us. We asked Devin Butler a similar question. He said, and I quote, Alfa Romeo are a bit of a shambles. I don't think they're catching us anytime soon. What's your response to that? <laughs> I have no interest in anything Devin Butler has to say. Great. Well, that's everything. Zoe. Daddy! Hey, Lils. Mommy says you're in America where the cowboys live. Yeah, Daddy's in America. Are you racing with cowboys, Daddy? <laughs> yeah, one or two. Hey, who's your favorite racing driver, Lils? You are. Just checking. Love you. Love you, Daddy. Hey, can I speak to Mum? Bye. She never wants to speak. Fellas! Sell out crowd this, ain't? Casper, I haven't seen you since you announced your retirement. No. Well, fair play to you, mate. Takes a brave man to admit he can't compete anymore. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I, I'm, I'm just saying, you're a brave man. I'm paying you a compliment. No, you're saying I can't compete? Nah, I didn't mean it like that. I just meant some have said that, uh... Well, you're past your prime, that's all. That won't work anymore, Devon. I'm sorry, <laughs> what won't work? We know what you've been saying about us. Oh, I genuinely don't know what you're talking about. You know, I used to think you were just a gossip, Devon. Now I know you're a liar. <laughs> oh, come on! You guys, you guys used to be so much more fun. Used to get into fights, take each other out of races. We all enjoyed that. Oh, yeah, you know, it was very entertaining. Now, you just mope around, bickering over who said what. It's a bit petty, to be honest, guys. Seriously, you're supposed to be role models. Yeah, I won't argue with you, Devin. I won't win. Yeah, you do seem to struggle a bit with winning, to be fair. Yeah. And maybe you are right. Maybe I am past it. But he's not. 
and he's the better driver. What, the rookie? He's only just got here. You do know the Ferraris he's buying. The contract's as good as signed. There's just one problem with that, Demon. Huh? Enlighten me. I don't believe a word you say anymore. Tell them, mate. Uh, mate. I don't know who this is going to. Yeah. 